everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your first trimester prenatal dumbbell workout. So while this workout is designed for the first trimester, and I am currently in my first trimester, it's also suitable for your second and third trimesters as well. There may just be a few things that I will ask you to modify and give you a different option. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells. Find what is best for you. I'm just gonna be using my five pound dumbbells today. And just a couple of rules, please make sure that you have been cleared by your doctor for exercise during pregnancy before you do this or any other workout. And also monitor your heart rate. So on a scale of one to 10, trying to get your heart rate maybe around a six or a seven being the highest. Not too high, maybe a little out of breath, but you can still hold a conversation. As always, listen to your body, take breaks as you need to, and make sure you're staying hydrated. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just with a warm up. So make sure your dumbbells are out of the way where you're not going to step on them, where you know where they are, and just start marching, roll through those shoulders. Warm up is really important. Before all workouts, we just wanna get our muscles warm, the blood flowing, our bodies ready to move. Let's take them to the front but especially in pregnancy. We need to make sure that we are really preparing our body for those moves. Let's go one big deep breath in and out. One more. And then let's roll through our back. So let's take it flat down, round it up. So just a couple things about strength training in your first trimester. So, the thing about the first trimester is that a lot of times for the first several weeks or first few weeks, we don't even know we're pregnant. We're gonna hold it here and just do some gentle rolls side to side. So you may be doing everything that you were doing if you were working out before pregnancy. That is totally fine. For the most part, walk your feet in, round it up. And then let's just do little taps. Make sure you're turning both torso and knees and hips reach across. For the most part, everything that you were doing in your before pregnancy, you can do most things in your first trimester. The exception is you do wanna make sure you're monitoring your heart rate, like I talked about in the intro, staying at a six or a seven, make sure you're not getting too high, not breathing too hard, keep reaching. And then when we get into that second and third trimester, we wanna make sure we don't do anything down on our back. We're not gonna do that in this workout, so don't worry. <laughs> and then we wanna be pretty specific uh, don't worry if you're in your second or third trimester doing this workout, it's totally fine. Um, and we wanna be specific about our core work. We want, once our belly pops, which mine already has, but maybe if you're in your first trimester, it hasn't, let's bring our knees up. We don't wanna make sure we're not doing any compression exercises. And then again, taking everything off of our back. It's fine to keep doing planks. I do recommend when you get to that third trimester, that we stop doing them, big reach out. Side planks are fine, but because that downward pressure can cause diastasis recti or ab separation, which we want to avoid. But don't worry, there's lots of other ways to work your core. We'll do a little bit in this workout and then certainly check out my other prenatal core workouts. But, so all of that to say, you don't have to modify too much in your first trimester. If your body is used to working out, let's just tap it out side to side but you do wanna to listen to your body. Often in the first trimester, it's when we feel the worst, we're really tired, we have morning sickness or nausea, working out and getting moving tends to help with that, so if you can do it, it does help, but listen to your body, rest as needed, and just know that your workouts might feel different. If you are new to fitness, it's totally fine to add strength training in. In fact, it's great during pregnancy. Just take your time, start slow, start with lighter dumbbells. Okay, so in this workout, we're gonna start with some basic moves. We'll do a lower body and then an upper body, and then we're gonna put some things together. It's totally fine if you wanna keep them separate if you're newer to exercise or if the together feels like too much, the compound movement. I'll give you options for both, again, Listen to your body, take breaks. If you need to hit pause, that's totally fine. Come right back to you. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Make sure you bend your knees to do it. And we're gonna start with a very basic side lunge. So we're gonna start without moving into it. Just take your feet nice and wide, just to get a feel for the motion. We're gonna sit into the hips on one side, straight leg here, bent leg here, drive the hips to the back. 
take it to the center. Then we'll go other side. So starting just alternating. Watch my hips here. Hips are going back. This leg is like a squat motion. Back stays flat. So we're starting with this because sometimes the side lunge is a little hard to figure out. Both of our legs want to bend, but we just want to bend to one side straight there. Let's just do a few more just like this and then feel free to keep it here or if you want, you can take it into a moving side lunge. So if you want, feet together, we're gonna step out into the side lunge, step in. Dumbbells come right on either side of the calf or the knee, keeping that back flat, trying to make sure that we're not rounding. So pull those shoulders back, core is in tight. Try to get low, but do what is best for you. Our joints are a little looser in pregnancy thanks to that hormone relaxin, which helps us prepare for birth. But we do want to be careful that we don't overstretch or get into positions that could injure us. So keeping this here, let's just do maybe two more each side, whether you're stepping into it or just leaning into it. Going through the legs, breathe. Excellent, so catch your breath, tap it out. And then let's take it to a very basic bicep curl. So we're here, we're curling up and in and down. Looks like this, up and down. So the bicep curl is really important. <laughs> it's a great move no matter where you are, but in pregnancy, keep going, it's preparing us for holding the baby all day long. That's our biceps and our back and our shoulders, but specifically the weight is here. So curls are really great to prepare for that and also strengthening forearms and wrist and all those muscles that are gonna get overworked once the baby is here. So last two, just lengthen all the way down to get the stretch and tap it out. So just little taps, about 10 or 15 seconds, and then we're gonna put those two together. So we're gonna step it onto the side lunge, and then as we step in, we'll curl it at the top. If that feels like too much, just do the side lunge, and at the halfway point, I'll tell you to switch to the bicep curl. Okay, so go ahead, dumbbells here. We're gonna step into the side lunge, step it in, and curl. Side lunge, and curl. Take your time, you don't have to go the same speed as me. You can go slower if you need to. We're at the halfway point, so if you want to go ahead and switch to just that curl, go ahead and do it now. If you can, we're doing the compound movement, side lunge, curl at the top, and breathe. And up, 10 seconds here. your time, last one, and relax, tap it out. So go ahead and set your dumbbells out to the side, stretch those thumbs to the back, just little taps. We're gonna have a few little, just cardio intervals, not high intensity cardio, but just to give our hands and our muscles a little bit of a break. So here, we're just stepping out, reaching back. It's also going to be a little bit of a built-in stretch, only going about, 30 seconds. So if you press those thumbs back, you'll feel the biceps, get a little stretch. And if you need more of a break, feel free to just stop or just tap it out without the arms. It's up to you, just about 10 seconds. And then we will go into our next move. So our next move is gonna be a core move, a side bend, and then we'll do some shoulder, shoulder presses. And then we'll have the option to put them together. So tap it out, shake it out. Let's start with one dumbbell. Bend your knees to get it. We're gonna take it to the side. You're gonna reach this hand up and you're just gonna go down and up. So you don't have to go super deep. We don't wanna twist with it. We just wanna work the obliques, also stabilizing in the center with the core. Down and up. Reach it over. You're gonna feel the stretch and then you'll feel the work as you come up. Five seconds to go. One more right here. 
and relax. So pretty basic, doesn't feel like much, but it is a really good core strengthener. If for some reason that feels like too much with the weight, you can just do the motion without the weight. You can always do that with any of these moves. So let's go ahead and take it other side. Big reach up, over, and back. Reach, and back. There we go. And again, we'll do some shoulders after this. When we come to putting them together, you always have the option of just coming to this. And breathe. Five seconds. Stretch and strengthen. And relax. So go ahead and pick up your second dumbbell, bend your knees to do it. And we're gonna go to a shoulder press. So I'm gonna put one foot back. That's just gonna stabilize a little bit in the core. It doesn't matter which one. Bring those dumbbells here. We're gonna do a very basic press up and down. So just coming down level with the shoulders, not letting it drop down to here. Really pull into the core up and down. If those weights feel too heavy, which they might, especially if you're newer to this, Drop one down and just go straight up and down. That's totally fine too. You can do a press with two or a press with one. You're still working those arms and shoulders. Breathe, four, three, two, and one. Tap it out side to side. So we're gonna put those two together. Roll your shoulders, give them a little break for a second. We're gonna go down with the side bend on one, up with the press on the other. So it looks like this. You don't have to lean into it with the dumbbell that much. Think about your press still going straight up, but leaning to this side so our core is working harder and we're getting the shoulder press. If that feels like too much, just do the side bend and I'll tell you when to switch to the other side. Just take the shoulder press out completely. Okay, one side, here we go. Press inside then and up. If you feel like it's pulling on your back or it's too much, drop that top dumbbell and just do side bend. It's going to engage your core. That's why we like it. A little more having the weight pressing up and working the shoulders. But if that feels like too much at any point, I want you to be super careful. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, relax it down, right? You really feel that shoulder when we isolate it, right? So then we'll go same thing, other side, core is in nice and tight, dumbbell here. We're pressing, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Side bend and press. Breathe up. There we go. Keeping it very controlled, again, you can go slower than me. You can go faster than me as long as you're keeping it controlled at a nice good pace for you. Not too quick. Last four, three, two, and one. Let's tap them down again. Drop them down again. And this time just little heels in front as our little cardio. And take them up and down. So again, a little bit of a quick 30 seconds to keep it moving, but also building in a little active stretch, working through those muscles and breathe. If you need a quick sip of water, this is also a great time to do it. In fact, I'm going to do that before we move to our next moves. So tap it up for 10 more seconds. Really important to just keep moving when we're pregnant. That is the goal, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and grab those dumbbells again. Let's take our toes out, plie squat. Such a good exercise in pregnancy, opening up the hips, strengthening the legs and the core, getting us ready for delivery. Rest those dumbbells right on the sides of the legs if you can and drop it down. If for some reason it feels like too much, you can do this move without the dumbbells, totally fine. Low in the plie, squeeze it up. So as you squeeze up, squeeze in the inner thighs, squeeze in the glutes, 
Think about squeezing with the Kegels. Great exercise. Again, preparing yourself for delivery and after. If you're not familiar with a Kegel, imagine that you're squeezing to stop the flow of urine. That is the most common, best way to describe it, but basically you're pulling your pelvic floor up and in while you squeeze those other muscles that are working. Let's go about 10 more seconds. Strong in the legs, heels pushing through. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, tap it out. Legs get a little break. Bring those dumbbells right in the center. We're going to open out and in. So we're strengthening in the back. You can also on this one put one foot back. Imagine that your elbows are glued to the side of your body and you're just opening out, squeezing in, if that makes sense. So arms are working, but we're squeezing in the shoulder blades to really work the back. Really good to kind of overtrain the back because all of our weight is pulling us forward as our bellies grow, as our boobs grow. And then once the baby's here, everything is forward, right? Holding the baby, feeding the baby, changing the baby. So again, postnatal, really important to train your back muscles and stretch them as well. Last one, dumbbells down, roll the shoulders. Okay, it's coming, we're gonna put them together. So I think the easiest thing is to keep those dumbbells down in front, everything going down, and then as you come up, squeezing it out. So start them here, shoulders back, drop it down in the plie, up and squeeze. Down in the plie, up and squeeze. And breathe. Don't forget about pulling everything up and in, pelvic floor muscles, inner thighs, glutes, hamstrings and quads, and making sure that you're keeping those elbows in. We're at the halfway point, so if you were only doing one of the exercises, you can switch to the other. Breathe. Hopefully everything is feeling it. I know I am. Try to keep those shoulders down. Sometimes we wanna squeeze them at the top, but drop the shoulders, pull the shoulder blades in. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, dumbbells down, side to side again. We're gonna do a little double tap, reach to stretch out the back. Reach, double tap, reach. And again, the point is to keep the heart pumping a little bit so you're getting a little bit of cardio throughout this workout, but also an active stretch. If you need more of a rest, just take a real rest, totally fine. We have one more move that we're gonna do standing and then a couple things down on the mat. And then we are done. We are keeping it short and sweet today. <sighs> Last one. Okay, so dumbbells one more time from the standing position. And we're going to do a deadlift. So I actually want you, if you're feeling it too much in your back, totally fine to do this move without the dumbbells, but really roll those shoulders back, eyes up, dumbbells right to the front of your body, knees are slightly bent, a little bit soft, and then run the dumbbells right down just past the knees, bring it up and squeeze. Really great exercise to do during pregnancy, because again, everything is front loaded, we wanna work the back of the body. So really important, keep your eyes up, keep those shoulder blades pulled back, what we don't want to do is this, right? So if those dumbbells are out in front of your body, that's when that's going to happen. So keep them really close to the front of your legs as you go down and up. Little soft bend, not a squat, but soft bend and keep those shoulder blades pulled back. Let's go four more. Four and up. Three. And if you feel your back pulling, just do it without the weights. Totally fine. Last one and relax. Tap it out side to side. Our upper body move is gonna be a tricep kickback. So we're gonna start here, elbows in, hinge at the hips, soft bend in the knees, 
push those elbows up towards the ceiling. So we're trying not to swing with it like this. Keep it very controlled. Start with the elbows high, push them up and down. We always want to strengthen the back of our arms, especially as women, right? But again, good for the back of our bodies. Opposing muscles to those biceps, which are gonna overwork once the baby's here. If you need to, you can alternate one at a time. Breathe, take it back. Let's go last four. Four, three, two, one. Slowly roll it up. So we're gonna give ourselves a few extra seconds of tapping just to relax that lower back so we're not putting too much pressure. And then we're gonna put those two together. So we're gonna keep those elbows in and up to start with. We're gonna hinge over into the deadlift, kick it back for triceps, then bring everything up and relax. So it looks like this, starting like this, hinge it over, push back, in and up. Join me when you're ready. And as always, if you wanna do just one of the moves, I'll tell you when we get to that halfway point, breathe down, up. In and out. Push up. You can also alternate if you want to do just one of the arms. Breathe. We're at that halfway point right about now. So switch to that other exercise if you were going one and then the other. Breathe. Up. Make sure you're coming all the way up in between so we really relax through that back. Last five seconds. Breathe. Last one. And relax. So dumbbells to the side. Woo. Breathe, stretch through that. So you're just gonna reach, bring it up. Active stretch. Reach and up, just one heel down. And then after this, we are going to the mat. We have a few exercises on the mat and then we are done. Breathe. Let's go four, up, three, two, one more and relax. So everybody grab a sip of water. Even if you don't feel thirsty, really important to hydrate during pregnancy especially. But really during any workout. And then just make your way down to the mat. We're going to come, we're going to start on all fours. So strengthening in our core. So this exercise is fine for everybody first trimester or beyond if you're doing this in your second or third trimester, we're gonna stay on all fours. And we're gonna take it to a little row for our back. So we're doing a little bit opposite here because we're gonna have a core and an upper body. So we're gonna stay here starting with our upper body. So we're here. And just take a couple rolls through before you start, just because we did all that back work. Breathe. And then from here, we're just gonna do a bent over row. Just bring one elbow up, drop it down. Elbow up, drop it down. Maintain your core, really pull your belly button towards you as best you can. I know it's hard to access those muscles during pregnancy, but if you can think that you're kind of hugging your baby towards your body, pulling everything up in and tight, and again, thinking about those pelvic floor muscles. Knees are staying directly beneath your hips, and hands and dumbbells are right beneath the shoulders. Keep breathing. Keep lifting. Let's go one more each way. And then let's take it back into a nice deep child's pose. Stretch it here. So take those dumbbells out to the side. We're gonna move it into a plank on your elbows. If you're in your second or third trimester, specifically if you're in your third, Take a little stretch break. Second, if you're feeling good and strong about planks, that's totally okay. And if you know that you had diastasis recti, maybe from a previous pregnancy, 
please avoid these planks and see my other diastasis workouts um, for postnatal, but take a break from that. Sometimes you know from your previous one and you already have it into that second or third or fourth or fifth pregnancy. But if you can, let's take it down to the elbows. We're gonna hold a plank here, pull everything in tight. If you're newer to exercise and you need to take the plank on the knees, that's okay too. If you can, hold everything up and in. Again, pulling your belly button in. Make sure you're breathing, but I want you to also squeeze in your legs and your glutes. Pull in with the pelvic floor. We're just gonna hold for four, three, two, and relax, stretch it back. So the first trimester is a really great time to keep up with those planks. And then again, as we get bigger, we want to avoid them towards the end of our pregnancy so we don't have that downward pressure creating more ab separation or possibly creating diastasis recti. Okay, so let's put those two together. So you may know it as a renegade row. We're just taking it up into a high plank from here, and if you can, alternate one at a time. If you're newer to exercise, it's totally fine to keep it on your knees as if you were doing a knee plank or a knee push up. Or if you don't feel comfortable with that, just take it back to that very first one we did on hands and knees. So pick which one you wanna do, bring it all the way up, squeeze and down, up and down. Breathe, we won't do as many, not as long, I promise. Keep squeezing four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees, stretch it back. Good work, team. Those are hard no matter how you are doing them. Stretch it back. Excellent. And then let's go ahead, since we're here, come into a side plank. Side planks are such a great exercise during pregnancy. You can do them up until the end. You can take them here. You can stack or cross your feet if you wanna bring it all the way up or totally fine to be on those knees. If you're later in your pregnancy doing this video, you may wanna be on the knees. We're just gonna bring it up and hold from here. Abs are pulled in tight. I like to cross one foot forward. It helps me stay a little more balanced, I think, but it's up to you. Keep breathing, keep lifting. If at any point you need to drop to that knee, that's okay too. Strengthening those obliques, but in turn also strengthening in here for three, two, one. Drop it down and stretch. We're gonna get that other side and then that is it. We are done. Swing those legs around. When you're ready, up and hold. Cross or stack your feet elbows directly beneath the shoulder. Everything is pulled in nice and tight. If you need to drop that knee, that's okay too. Keep breathing. This hand can be up or down for four, three, two, and one. Bring it up and stretch it over. Nice work, team. It was a lot of moves crammed into one workout and working in those compound moves, which are not easy, but you are on your way to a healthy, strong body during pregnancy. Let's take it here, reach it forward. Just sit however is most comfortable for you. Let your chin drop to your chest. Walk those hands out and forward. Again, whatever is most comfortable for you, just take a few deep breaths. Let's take one arm across, roll through. And other arm across, roll through. As always, try to get more of a stretch on your own or check out my prenatal stretch video for some specific stretches for moms to be folded over. A couple deep breaths. Tight hamstrings, I know. And bring it in one big deep breath in and out and that was your first trimester prenatal dumbbell workout great job everybody